7 Steps to Reignite the Lost Spark in a Relationship. In this video, we'll show you also how to build healthy relationships and a little bonus at the end. Welcome to Lifestyle Therapy Channel. Stay tuned. Number 1. Make the time. One of the biggest signs that your relationship is suffering is when you and your loved one just don't spend any time together. To save your relationship, you need to actively carve out that time to spend with the other person. Change your plans, so you can meet your significant other for a drink in the evening, or drive to her or his office for an impromptu lunch date. Even just calling to catch up when you're apart, for the day will cheer you both up, and give your relationship a boost. Number 2, Stop Playing Games. Many experts will tell you to play power games, to win back the love in your relationship, or to reignite the spark. Don't do it. If you purposely ignore your partner, or intentionally act cold and distant, you are playing a game. And while this sort of behavior, may lead to increased attention from a partner for a short while, it will not have a long-lasting effect on your relationship. If you frequently act rude or mean, ignore your partner, or act cold and distant, your partner will eventually lose interest in you. Number 3, Do Something Special Together. Perhaps you two have a favorite restaurant you haven't visited in ages, or you can return to the place where you first fell in love. Being in a physical space, where you have powerful memories of strong attachment, can reignite passion. Or, you can try something you've never tried before. The excitement of something new produces serotonin, and dopamine in our brains. It doesn't have to be something extraordinary, even sitting on a park bench watching the children play as you hold hands, can be magical if love exists. The important thing is that you stop talking about taking that vacation, or trying that new spot, and follow through on your intention to reconnect together. Number 4, You need to focus more on your partner's happiness than your own. True love means loving someone so much that the only way you can be happy is by making your partner happy. If you want your relationship to work, you need to have this kind of love. This love may seem one-sided to you. But it's not. When you focus on your lover's happiness, your lover should be focusing on yours. You have to be each other's best friends, confidants, advisors and biggest fans. Number 5. Forgive each other. To forgive is to detach from the bitterness, anger, and animosity holding you back from progress with your partner. Forgo the negative emotions keeping you from true forgiveness. Remind yourself that whatever happened, and that there is no reason to drag the past into your future. Lingering on hurtful memories only perpetuates them. Be mindful that forgiveness is a process, not a result, so perform small, daily acts that are reflective of your intent to pardon. Number 6. Take the initiative. A lot of relationships break down, because neither party is willing to be proactive and take the lead. As this pattern continues, it becomes harder to reach out, and you and your significant other drift farther apart. By taking the initiative to buy concert tickets, start a conversation, or make a fun dinner, you can stop this cycle, and pull your relationship out of its rut. Number 7. Set Boundaries. A relationship is a two-way street. Tell your partner honestly what you would like them to do, or not do, then be prepared to accept the boundaries they set for you too. Setting boundaries in a relationship is critical, and yet it can often feel scary and overwhelming. Sometimes we worry that our partner will get mad, or we feel guilty for saying no. Don't let this stop you. Instead remind yourself that your needs and feelings matter in this relationship. And by making yourself and your needs a priority, you are working to better your relationship and yourself. To get access to the latest from Lifestyle Therapy, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Number 1. Be trustworthy. Trust is a key characteristic of positive relationships. When asked about relationships, People identify trustworthiness as one of the most valued traits. Being trustworthy means being dependable, reliable and honest. Most of us value relationships that are based on trust, 
where people are honest, but also thoughtful. Number 2, Take it slow. Early relationships are heady and filled with emotions. While a lot of this is biochemical and difficult, or impossible to control, you can mitigate your feelings by intentionally slowing down. Don't be too available. Make plans with other important people in your life, and resist the urge to cancel them. Don't be too quick to become exclusive. Continuing to play the field helps you balance your emotions, and make a more clear-headed decision about whether to enter into a relationship. Number 3, Live in the Moment. If you are actively seeking a relationship, you might find yourself picturing a home and kids on the first date. Force yourself back into the present. On each date, focus on having a good time and deciding whether you would like another date. Don't try to transform yourself or your date into something unnatural. Take each moment as it comes and enjoy the process. Perhaps someone isn't destined to be the love of your life, but will turn out to be a very significant friend. Maybe this person even knows someone who would be perfect for you. Number 4, See the best in your partner and the relationship. Research on perception and attention, shows that we see more of what we look for, so if you're looking for signs of kindness, that's more likely to stand out to you. How you think about and interpret your partner's actions, intentions, and words also affects how you feel and understand a situation with them, which in turn affects how you behave toward them. For example, spend a week looking for anything and everything your partner does right. You can even jot down anything you notice for each day if you choose. Number 5, Show Your Appreciation. A sense of gratitude and appreciation, has been found to be a motivating factor in couple relationships, in the sense that when a person feels appreciated for who they are, and what they do, it motivates them to do positive things for their partner as well. Most people would like to be appreciated a little more often for their efforts. Appreciation can be demonstrated in a number of ways, depending on the circumstance and relationship. A simple verbal acknowledgement of thank you, goes a long way toward a person feeling valued. 5 Signs, You Found The One Who Completes You Number 1, They Help You To Be A Better You The person who compliments you, might be a better word than complete because you were a whole person before you met your soulmate. If your partner helps you to be more you, than you were before you met them, it's a sign that you've found someone who completes you. When you're together, you and your partner automatically transform into the nicest, most thoughtful and compassionate versions of yourselves. You don't even have to try to be better people in each other's presence. It just happens organically. Number 2, You Can Hear The Other Person's Silent Thoughts with soulmates, there is such depth to your relationship, that you can feel and hear what your partner is thinking, even if it is not verbally expressed. You don't have to constantly talk like you would with people that you just met. Share that comfortable silence without any awkward feelings. When you talk, you finish each other's sentences without even blinking. You connect on a mental level unlike other people. Number 3, You Can Be Honest With Them. You want to be able to tell your partner how you really feel. With a soulmate, you should be able to tell your partner everything that's on your mind. If you're feeling judged, for thinking or believing a certain thing, that's not a partnership. A soulmate, though, may not agree with you, will let you say what you say without judgment. Number 4, Chemistry. You have to have that special something that you feel, when you meet someone who is just for you, for the first time. You have to have that electric attraction, those butterflies in your stomach. You have to feel like you've been everywhere, and you've seen everything, and now is the time to settle down, and spend all the time you have left with that special someone. And you will never be sorry for that. You will never be sorry that you didn't live a bit more, before you made a commitment to him or her. Number 5, Nothing is better than being together. Soulmates might be able to take time apart. But when you find the one who completes you, there is absolutely nothing better than being together. When you find your best friend, your biggest cheerleader, your main support, your loyal teammate, and your greatest lover, all in one person, it's easy to imagine why soulmates value their time together above all other things.
I hope you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, don't forget to share it, and make sure to subscribe to see more video in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.